you know, I we 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 have already watched this YouTuber. We already see so many stuff, and you know what? I think it's about time we finally do a reaction video to this YouTuber. So, hey Waluigi, yes, it's time. It's time. Yes, we're finally doing it. We're finally reacting to DR What's Out. Whoa. Wow. We're going to react to talking to strangers. You ready, Waluigi? I am ready. Well, let's get this started, okay? Alright then. Alright then. Start this reaction. Three, two, one, go. Let's pretend you get on a bus and it's super crowded. The only spot that's open is between two strangers. So you sit down between two people you never met and everyone is fine. Everyone's keeping to themselves. Yeah. No one's making eye contact. It's perfect. Sure, your shoulders are touching, but that's just what happens. That's part of the bus going experience, you poor person. But wow. at the very next stop, aisle seat guy gets off. So now you and window seat guy are sitting right next to each other. But since you're in the middle, you have to be the one to decide, do you move or not? I honestly don't know what the right thing to do in that situation is. I'm conflicted. Because if you move, it would be silently telling the other person, Hey, you're disgusting. I can't stand having our shoulders wow. any longer, and I'm glad to finally get away from you. Ugh. But on the other hand, if I was the window seat guy, I would want the middle seat guy to become the new aisle seat guy. I wouldn't see moving as rude. I would just want his it's gross, pretty hard. disgusting body as far away from me as possible. Oh my god, that's so other, detailed. Other hand, maybe I'm overthinking everything, and most people don't even mind being this close to another human, and they aren't struggling socially. Yeah, some people, like, now, because we live, some people don't. But with urinals. Oh, with heck urinals, no. Do you move halfway through to the other urinal? Because I would. Are you supposed <laughs> to talk to wow. people when you're sitting two inches away from them? I always felt like I should say something, like, Hey, did you see the game last night? I didn't, I was too busy drawing cartoons. But I realized that this is a two-way street. I'm worried about not talking to someone, but they're not talking to me either. We both agreed that there's this unwritten contract between us that we're not even going to look at each other. It got me thinking yeah. about strangers and specifically how I treat them. And how I can make money off of them. hey -o! I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. Wow. I would go out of my way to avoid talking to people. I would stay in my lane, mind my own business, no eye contact. If everyone's using a urinal, I'd have to pee tomorrow. Yes, I'm lonely. But now that YouTube's a thing, wow. I'm interacting with strangers more often than I've had to in my entire life. So I've yeah. been thinking a lot about I can't see me with Andy all, now. I think the Pretty word much. stranger is already an insulting label for someone just because you don't know their name. Oh, I don't know this person. They're a stranger. They're strange. I'm the normal one. They're the freaks. They probably murder people with an axe. It's always the go-to profession of a stranger, an axe murderer. But the people you see throughout your day are all humans with their own hopes and dreams. And some of them may yeah. have to kill you, but you'll never know because you never take the time to get to know them. So I think that the yeah. people you see throughout your daily life aren't strangers. They're potential friends. Except yeah. for the weird ones, obviously. Stay away from them. Wow. Yes, I'm telling you to judge people based on their appearance. They're the ones that chose to wear anime shirts in public, okay? So back to the bus scenario. I'm still I'll, I'll right kind of wear an anime human shirt. Theme. So far, there's not a single reason why I should dislike this person, but I don't know why, if you put him and me on a bus next to each other, I want him as far away from me as possible. Just stop touching my shoulder! So that was the last time I took the bus. Unfortunately, that's not the only place you meet strangers. One time yeah. I was at the depot and I was looking for They're different people. They're everywhere. Tools, I find them anywhere. And I don't know if I'm the only human that's like this, but I will try everything in my power to not talk to a sales associate. I guess it's because I know they get paid minimum wage and their life sucks. Oh, I so, uh, leave them alone and not I remember this story from, like, Jay Animations. But asking employees for help isn't that bothering them that she also, much. like, fact, gets... I think it's part of their job? Like, what's the worst thing they're gonna say? Ugh. You don't know where one specific item is? Everyone else knows. Did you even look? They're in the jumper cable aisle, idiot. No one's Ow. gonna think that. So feeling desperate, I mustered up what little courage I had and swaggered up to someone wearing an orange vest and said, uh, excuse me, do you know where the jumper cables are? I don't work here. Oh, you don't work here? And then he yeah. walked away. And then he waddled away. That happened to me a couple of times. Next day, bum, bum, bum. So I think the That's embarrassing when that, that happens. would have been to find someone who does work there. But I left the store because I didn't want to run into that same guy again. 
But I also bought a hammer because I didn't want people to think that I stole something. So. Oh, yeah. And by the way, if you wear an orange vest to Home Depot, just expect people to ask you for help. Same goes for people who wear red yep. shirts at Target. You'd think I'd learn from my mistakes, but no, I have a bunch more examples. When my book came out, my publisher said that it was going to be carried at Barnes & Noble. And I thought that was super duper cool and wanted to see my book in the wild. Not to buy or anything, just to have a look at. So I took my friend Adam from Something Else YT, and we went to the local Barnes & Noble and started our search. We looked in the humor section, didn't find it. Then we checked the new release section, it wasn't there either. Then we looked at the best-selling section, then the religious section, but we couldn't find the book anywhere. So either the publisher lied, or they had already sold out. But just to be sure, I asked one of the workers, Hey, do you guys have a book by The Odd Ones Out? He kind of looks like this. And the worker typed something out on his computer and said, Oh yeah, we got those in the back, we just haven't put them out yet. So then he went to the back room, brought out a copy and handed it to me saying, Here you go, kid. And I thought, well, frick. I can't just hand it back to the guy and say, oh no, that's okay. I didn't want to buy it. I just wanted to have a look at it. Do you know how inconvenient that would be? Yeah. The only that would be, that was, awkward option that's pretty much rude. was to buy my own book. And you know what? I'd get a couple cents back from this purchase, so it wouldn't have been a total loss. But Adam, being the more sensible one, said, Dude, this is ridiculous. You, you have to come clean. So then he went to the worker and said, So he actually uh, wrote this book? He just wanted to get a look at it, like, in the wild. And the worker said, oh, that's so cool. Do you want to sign our copies? And then I thought, well, hold on. You're not even going to ask me for my ID? How do you know I actually wrote this book and I'm not some guy trying to deface someone else's? And then the guy gave me a whole stack of my books and I signed them all. Last wow. Time before I go, I was in the hallway of a building and me and this potential friend crossed paths. He said, Anime. And I was going to respond with, hello, and how's it going? But I combined the two and ended up saying, how? And then I jumped out a window and fell to my death. I can't rationalize that behavior. Maybe I spend too much time on the computer and I'm not used to looking at real people's faces, but I'm trying to change. Mm. Don't get me wrong, going to conventions and meeting fans has helped me a lot with talking to people. Yeah. Granted, those conversations are usually one-sided and a real stranger won't already know who I am, but they've still helped yeah. me. Now, you might be expecting mm -hmm. me to give you advice on overcoming social anxiety, but if you watch this video, you know I'm not the most qualified to give that advice. But I'll try mm. my best. I know it's hard yeah. to feel confident, and I'm still working on it. But you have to understand mm. that we're all people. And yeah, we all we're all we're like, struggling with. And we have our own problems. We have our own things. We're all caring about random. every little thing that other people do. We're all too busy worrying about what other people think of us. So with enough practice and believing in yourself, you can show the world your true colors, and I think you'll find that people are a lot nicer than you think. So if you're the middle seat guy on the bus and you have to decide whether or not to move, do whatever you want. No one cares. Just stop touching my shoulders. Wow. Hey everyone, I know it's been a while. Thank you for being patient. Oh, look at the arts. Video. May has been a really busy month because some nice of you might swim, know that nice May is swim, my birthday nice month and swim. I don't work. Well, on these my are birthday really month, all good so, so far. If there's a lesson you should take away from this video is don't worry about being awkward because everyone of course. is weird. And if anyone makes you feel Yeah, bad, we're all, we're all no, awkward, we're all not, not just a uh, distinguished person. We're all basically the same ones for our that own personality. Very soon, I have VidCon and chess boxing, and then I'm also going on tour with Oh yeah, chess boxing. Like I forgot Jayden, about that. Ross and Domix and Ego Raptor, just a name drop a couple people. So if any of these events look interesting, you can buy some tickets in the description or through the event tab on my website. And if you're yearning for more Odd Ones Out content, I just wanted to remind you all that I have a second channel and either today or tomorrow yeah. I'm going to be uploading a video where the I answer some math though. questions with my friend Pat. Please watch it. As well, always, Matt, from Game Explain. Okay. This video. And a big, big thanks to you, dear viewer, for wearing your seatbelt. Make sure you wear your seatbelt. It's very, very important, okay? Alright, anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. The first time we actually reacted to the other ones out. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. And see you guys next time. Bye bye. Well, what I meant by that means that it's the first time we're making a on the channel, but we already saw him. Like, his video. I don't know, but just remember
wear your seatbelt.